Hey friends, it's Sean from My Impossible, and this video is for people who are working with learning how to see blindfolded or seeing without eyes. And a lot of you are working with partners, which is probably the best way to go because you can help each other relax, you can have fun, and you can stay inspired. But if you're like me, there was a time last year when I needed to train by myself. I just didn't have a partner. And I found a really cool way to do it, and I want to share it with you in case you're having trouble finding a partner or you'd prefer to be able to train by yourself whenever you want. I wanna pause here and just say, if you're new to this and you would like a training partner, I highly recommend you get to know Rob Freeman and Wendy Gallant's Facebook page. They've been doing this a lot and they've offered more than anyone else in the public forum online, tips and tricks and techniques for how to do this. And if you go to their Facebook page, you can meet a friend and be training partners together. So I'll put the link to their Facebook page and to their YouTube pages in the description to this YouTube video below. So you can go learn about Rob and Wendy and all the awesome things they're doing and all the great people they're working with around the world. So this is a really cheap and easy way of training by yourself. And all you need is a $1 bottle of Elmer's glue. And so some of my training comprised of using these colored foam cards. And of course, when you're blindfolded by yourself and you're looking at a color, you won't know till afterward when you look at your videotape, if you're recording this on camera, if you were right or wrong. And I thought, I wanna be able to know right now in the moment if I'm right or wrong. So what I did was I took out all my colored cards and I used the glue to glue a couple of initials. So for blue, it's just B capital L and then I let it dry overnight. And that way when I'm working and I'm thinking, is this blue or yellow? And I, I commit to it, I think it's blue. Then I would run my fingers over the center of the card so I could feel with my fingers the initials BL and know that I was correct. So I have BL for blue, I've got a capital Y for yellow, I've got BK in both capital letters for black, and then a capital R for red, and so on. I hope you can see the shine there. That's the dried glue, but it's got texture to it. That's why I like Elmer's glue. If you're working with shapes, like black shapes on white paper, for example, this triangle, it doesn't show very well, but on the edge of the triangle, I put a strip of glue. So after I think I know what it is, I wanna verify it, I'll run my fingers over the image and I can feel the shape of the triangle. Another way to do this is, if you didn't want to put glue on the outline, you could just put a small letter T right here with the glue. That way you won't actually accidentally touch the glue when you're handling the paper, and you really have to go looking for the letter. And if I feel a T, then I know I was right, that it was a triangle. And then same thing for circle, you could put like a little circle of glue in the center, or the letter C then you know it's a, a circle. A couple ways you could use it for, I'll use the color cards for example, is the first way is you could just relax the way you've been trained to do, and then just say to yourself, I think this is red or I think this is yellow, and then see if you're right or wrong by checking the feeling. And if you're right or wrong, doesn't matter, and then you move on to the next color. But I find that it's helpful to, when I, Regardless of if I'm right or wrong, let's say I think it's yellow, and I go, okay, I think it's yellow, and I feel and realize, oh, it's a red color. I don't let go of the card yet. Knowing that it's red, I keep working with it to learn how did red show up in my mind, or how does it show up in my mind right now? Now I know it's red for sure. If I continue working with the same card, it'll help me learn and become more familiar with the quality of red as it shows up for me which sometimes it's not an actual color red. For me, sometimes it's a headache in part of my head, and I know, oh, that's red, because it kind of aches right here, and no other color does that, usually. Here's a snippet of me training with this. It's very short, and also I should suggest you take this with a grain of salt, because I haven't been working with this for very long. I took a break after last winter to work on some other things, so I can't say that this technique of training yourself with the glue will 100% work for you. Everyone needs to experiment for themselves because I'm not, I'm not great at it. I'm still very, very, very beginner level. So it's not like, oh, I'm excellent and do the glue thing, it'll work for sure. You'll have to find out for yourself if it works. Now here's a brief snippet of me doing this last November, I think. Enjoy.
This one's particularly dark, although there is a shine, but it's I think it's white or red. And just because I can feel it more in my head, I'll say red. But it's white. This one's pretty dim, which tells me it might be yellow, but I also confuse yellow and green. But I think because it's not so bright, it's probably yellow. It's red. So it seems there's a shine, but it's dark, but there's some brilliance to it. I think it's black. It's black. <laughs> 